Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, Regional Service Manager for Libri Plus. Today we're going to talk about adjusting arm cushions on the Libri Alligator. The Libri Alligator utilizes three cushions, arm up, arm down, and arm in. These cushions are adjusted on the MDM or Master Display Module. We'll begin by looking at the arm up cushion. The arm up cushion is triggered by an extra strip of metal which is inserted onto the candy cane. The proximity switch, which is normally open, triggers to the closed position when it senses this tab. Next we'll move on to the arm down cushion. This cushion is activated by a proximity switch located on the opposite side of the gripper head as the arm up switch. An extra metal tab has been welded to the candy cane to deactivate the cushion as it comes over the curvature of the candy cane into the downstroke. Lastly, we'll look at the arm in cushion, which is controlled by a normally open proximity switch located on the arm slide tube. Please note that under this diamond plated cover there are two proximity switches present. The first acts as an arm interlock to prevent the body from going up with the arm not fully extended, while the innermost, or second, acts as the cushion. To actually adjust the cushions, we need to get familiar with the master display module. We need to enter the appropriate menu, so we press escape one time. Use the up and down arrows to locate the properties screen. Once selected, select function parameters, and you can now view four independent cushions, three of which we'll work with today. Note the percentage. This percentage or value can be changed by pressing F1 or select and using the up and down arrows to get to the desired value. Once the desired value has been obtained, simply press OK and test your function. Please note that the higher percentage numbers will equate to less cushioning, while the lower percentage numbers will equate to increased cushioning. When you're completed making your adjustments, verify your settings and simply press escape twice to return back to the bin counter menu. We'll begin by adjusting the arm in cushion. We'll begin this test by setting the adjustment at 30%. Watch the arm as it comes in. Note that it stops short of the home position. We'll continue by trying the adjustment at 56%. Watch carefully as the arm returns to the home position. Note the amount of force with which it reaches the end of its travel. Therefore, we'll try another number at 46%. Pay close attention to how the arm returns to the home position. It appears to decelerate shortly before coming to the end of its travel. Next, we'll continue with the arm up cushion. We'll begin with a setting of 34%. Watch closely as the arm attempts to go into the dump position. The high amount of cushion set is preventing it from being able to make its full stroke. Next, we'll try it at 54%. Pay close attention in the video to the amount of deceleration in the grabber as it comes over the curvature of the candy cane. This is the desired effect. On this particular unit, we made one final adjustment at 45% to achieve what we felt was the perfect amount of functionality and reliability. Lastly, we'll move on to the arm down cushion. We'll begin with an adjustment of 39%. Note that the grabber will come up and go around the curvature of the candy cane, but will not come back down. This is due to the cushion being set to too low a value. Next, we tested operation at 46%. Note the large amount of cushion as the grabber comes over the curvature of the candy cane 
until the proximity switch is met. This is the desired effect. Please note that the values shown within this video are merely a guideline, and that each unit will require its own specific adjustment. Thank you for watching this Libri how-to video.